Uh, the Honourable Member for Vancouver Quadra. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is Right to Know Week, and we're supposed to be focusing on the benefits of transparency and accountability. Remember those words, but the Conservative government is marking it by hiding cuts from the Parliamentary Budget Officer and by hiding the, cut, hiding the true costs of the F-35. And now the Prime Minister actually has a secret Cabinet Committee on Cuts that is being chaired by the Minister of Gazebos himself. So when will, this Cana when will Canadians get access to the information that they have paid for with their tax dollars? The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. I'm quite sure what the Honourable Member is referring to. Uh, I'm chairing a new Cabinet Committee uh, which was announced by a news release by the Prime Minister's office, Mr. Speaker. That's not exactly the way to be secretive, I would assure the Honourable Member. Of course, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, of course, we, uh, we believe that the, the uh, Budget Officer should concentrate his time and his energy uh, examining how uh, Parliament and how the Government of Canada spends its money, not fretting about money we have not spent. And that's, that's the fundamental difference. But of course, we will, of course, be accountable to Parliament on all of those expenditures. The Honourable Member for Vancouver Quadra. Well, let's try it again, Mr. Speaker. So... Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Vancouver Quadra. He obviously didn't understand the first time. Said la semaine du droit de. This is right to know week, and it's all about transparency. However, the government has chosen to mark this week through secrecy. They're refusing to provide information on the cuts to the parliamentary budget officer, and they're refusing to disclose the real costs of the F-35s. When will Canadians get access to in to the information their tax taxes have paid for? What happened to President The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. As I've already said, uh, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to report to, to uh, Parliament through regular channels, so through the budget and expenditures, the financial uh, quarterly reports, and the public accounts, Mr. Speaker. We are accountable here in the House. Of accountability. It's the normal course to report on these things, and we will continue to do so because we believe we are spending money on, be, on the benefit of the people of Canada, and we will continue to do so. The Honourable Member for Vancouver, Quadra. Mr. Speaker, talking about being kept in the dark, Canadians are being kept in the dark about the Nexon deal, and we need to know exactly what is being considered in the proposed deal and what percentage of foreign ownership. Will this government allow in Canada's resource sector? Canadians want to know. And why has the Prime Minister not been answering these questions? Why is the Prime Minister refusing to be transparent to taxpayers? And the Honourable Minister of Industry. Mr. Speaker, as I said, we, uh, we will always act in the best interest of this country. And the Liberal Party, Mr. Canada, never turned any single deal in this country, Mr. Speaker. And once again, I'm passionate here, Mr. Speaker, because, you know, these guys try to say that we are not working in the, in the interest of this country, but I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, this transaction will be scrutinized very closely. The Honourable Member for Charlotte.